In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to create pipeline for your customers. So any leads that come in that have potential of purchasing from you, then this is where you want to add them. So the first place you're going to go is the opportunities tab on the left-hand side. And then we are going to go straight up to the top menu and click pipelines. So we first need to create a pipeline. We'll call this, um, we'll call this uh, customer acquisition, sage name, new lead, call this hot lead, booking requested, booking complete, one last. Okay, so these are the different stages that we're going to deal with customers coming in to us. So customer acquisition, we will save this. Then we're gonna go back to the opportunities tab. Go to opportunities. Now we've got a pipeline here where we've got new leads, hot leads, booking requested, booking complete and one and last over to the right hand side. So this is uh, new leads that come in here. What we can do here is we'll go into our contacts. This is the first manual way that we can create someone into a opportunity. So we see the customer's details we have here. We've got all of their details. We'll scroll down a bit. And then we want to add them into opportunities. So we see the opportunities drop down. We will click add. And we our name is put in straight away. Our pipeline is customer acquisition. Our stage in this case is a new lead. They are open. They are worth 2000 euro to us. The owner of this is John McGovern, and the source, if we want to put in, um, let's say it's inbound lead, so they contacted us directly. Opportunity name, let's call this paid ad management. So we want to manage their business's ads for this one. Jamie Diamond, paid ad management. Okay, we will add this. So now we see to the left-hand side, the opportunities We'll reload the page first and then we will see the opportunities will update themselves. Take a second to load, scroll down and we've got opportunities. We will hit, there it is, it took a second to come up. So it might take a second or two for it to come up on your side as well. So now we've got the customer's details in here. Now, if we go back to the opportunities, we see that we've got Jamie Diamond in here, paid ad management. We can drag this over. So for a new lead, this comes into our email. We get notified to say, hey, John, you've got a new lead. Um, I click on this customer's details and I see their email address and I reply to them. So I can email them directly here. I can say, we can go and we can create a template. We'll select a template and this is for new leads. Use template. And I'll say, here's our services that we offer. Uh, you can see this in one of our follow-up videos. Then what we can also do is we can drag this across. So I've talked to that person, they've responded, and we know that they're interested. If they're not interested at all, what I'll do is I'll click and hold. And we can see here down the bottom, it now says lost, abandoned, or won. So say Jamie Diamond just filled out a form and actually doesn't want anything from us. We can then drop him into abandoned and he's going to disappear as a lead. So it's a quick way to move people about or just completely abandon them or to say that they're one as a customer. That is it for the pipeline management. Check out our next video to have a look at how we automate some of the workflows for customers coming into us. Thank you.